Hello, and welcome to the 10th Annual Sloan Consortium Blended Learning Conference and Workshop. In this video, you will get information about how to access the conference sessions and recordings virtually. My name is Jessica Donahoe, and I work with Sloan C as a Technical Administrative and Development Assistant. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you access your virtual conference material, what the computer requirements are for accessing virtual sessions and recordings, what is expected of you as an attendee, what you should test before the conference begins, supporting documents provided by presenters, responsibilities, and our communication plan. How do you access your virtual conference space? You will be receiving an email from us with instructions on access. You need to carefully follow these instructions. It is important to remember here that you will need to be logged into our main website, sloanconsortium.org. If you do not already have an account, you'll need to register for one, and it is free. Please note that this is not the same account that you used to register for the conference or to submit a paper. Once you've logged in, we recommend that you take some time to familiarize yourself with the conference website space. What do we expect of you as a participant? First and foremost, we ask that you follow our instructions carefully. It is also extremely important that you test the setup of any and all computers you will use to access the conference before the conference sessions begin. Please don't assume that your computer will work or that if one computer works, a different computer, especially one on a different network, will work as well. Plan ahead. Know which sessions you want to attend and when they're happening. Enter the session room early so you don't miss anything. You will get the most out of your conference experience if you actively participate. Introduce yourself when you enter a session so that the on-site session chair knows you're there. These are the device requirements for accessing conference sessions on a computer. Mobile access instructions will be addressed at a later date. You will need to have Microsoft Silverlight installed on your computers to be able to use the session player. You can download Silverlight for free at Microsoft.com slash GetSilverlight. We recommend that you use Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any Internet Explorer version 8 or higher. As previously stated, there are some things that we'd like you to test before the beginning of the conference. We'd like you to test that you'll be able to use the media site streaming player. You may do so at the URL shown on this slide. Please also check that you have access to the sessions within the conference site by following the instructions in your email and using the link provided. You need to be sure you've logged in and or created an account at sloanconsortium.org in order to do so. Please make sure that you receive all of our emails by adding us to your approved emailers list in your email application. When you receive your virtual access instructions, you will get an email that looks like this. Please complete step one, registering and or logging in by opening the hyperlink found in step one in a new tab. Then, please leave the tab from step one open, returning to your email, and opening the URL shown in step two in a new window. There will also be a long URL that is different from the one shown in this image below step two that you can use if the hyperlink isn't working. To access sessions, first go to the conference welcome page on the Sloan Consortium website by going to sloanconsortium.org, hovering your mouse over conferences in the menu, and then clicking the appropriate conference title. Once on the conference welcome page, click on the program button on the conference menu. You are now on the conference program page for the particular conference you're interested in. We encourage you to access this page before the conference begins to explore. When you're ready to access a session, click on streamed sessions found in the list of buttons at the top of the program page. This takes you to a page with all streamed sessions listed chronologically. 
locate the session you are interested in by scrolling through the page and clicking on the session title. You can also search the list of sessions by using your browser's find feature, usually Control F on a PC or Command F on a Mac, and searching for a word in the session's title or the lead presenter's name. Please note that all session times listed are in the time zone of the venue. Once you've located your desired session and clicked on the session title, you will be taken to that session's page. The main page, in the tab called View, will list the session information including the Twitter hashtag, authors, session information, and abstracts. It will also contain a link at the top of the page where you can find the virtual conference player, as well as one where you can find an evaluation form for the session. From a session's homepage, if it is a streamed session, there will be a link called Sloan C Virtual Conference Player. You must click on this tab in order to view either the live session or the recording of the session if it is already finished. Session recordings will be posted within 24 hours of the session finishing. Registered on-site and virtual attendees have access to all session recordings for one year. Once you've selected the Sloan C Virtual Conference Player link, it will open a pop-up that looks like this. You will see the session player on the left and your in-room chat on the right. You will have to log in to the chat room in order to begin using the in-room chat functionality. Please note that sessions will begin being streamed once the session time has started. If you access the page before the session start time, you will not be able to see anything being streamed. Again, all session times are listed in the time zone of the conference venue. On the right side of your conference session player pop-up screen, you will see the in-room chat. Other participants watching the session online will also be in this chat room. Additionally, a session chair will be in the chat room who is attending the session face-to-face. -face. The session chair will monitor this room and ask questions of the presenter on your behalf. So, if you have a question for your presenter, this is where you should ask it. After the session is complete, both virtual and on-site attendees should evaluate it and are encouraged to do so online. If you've been attending virtually, you'll need to switch back to the View tab from which you arrived at the virtual player. Because the player opened in a pop-up window, this tab should still be open in another window. You can access the session evaluation form by clicking on the session feedback form shown on the image in this slide. Session evaluations are easy and quick to fill out, and your feedback is very important to us, so thank you in advance for your evaluations. Some sessions may have supporting documents available for attendees. Those documents will be provided for you on the sessions page inside of the conference site below the abstracts. Presenters have been encouraged to upload their presentations and supporting materials. However, it is not mandatory and not all may have chosen to do so. Workshops work in a similar manner to other sessions for virtual attendees. Virtual attendees should use the in-room chat to communicate with the session through the session chairs. When group work is being done, one on-site group will have a microphone and the video of that group will be streamed so that virtual attendees are included. Again, supplemental materials that are provided will be available on the sessions page. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and prepare yourself to participate in this conference. If you have additional questions, please contact us at conference at sloanconsortium.org. You will receive communications from us regarding virtual access again at three, two, and one days out. We understand that these can be a bit painful for those who have already completed the necessary steps, but we ask you to bear with us as they are necessary for those who have not done so.